Hello everybody, and this is Faces Force, and I'm about to try out Asylum of Pleasure and Pain. Now, uh, I'm going to set my laptop over here. here. What's been basically going on is that Fraps has been annoying and not trying to record anything. Let me move this here. And, yes I know, static, static, static. Ah shit. Uh, hmm. How should I do this? Moving it about is so much fun. Un uh huh. Yeah, I'm at a motel right now, so I'm trying to find a good setup for the game. My brand new green Xbox uh Power A thing with light up buttons controller for my laptop, which you guys will might be surprised to find out does work. Or just a bit sketchily. Yeah. I can move my little Oh, oh, I don't know. Thumbstick up and down, and it moves. A and B work. Work for space and escape. And R, B, and L, B. The, that's R1 and L1, not the twos, which are your triggers. Work like a charm. Actually, I have no idea. I n don't own an Xbox. It just works with my PC better. Now, I got my favorite Seagram's ginger ale, which might be a product placement. Nah, not really. And I have, and my mic's pointing down, there we go, that's some fun static, and oh, that's kind of cool, I do like how it says new session, low session, asylum session, exit asylum, that is a neat way of implementing the menu right into there, although looking at the front of the menu, I have no idea what the hell I'm getting into, well, that's not true. I have tried before, and I'm going to say this, this game comes preloaded with like a thousand saves, and these saves in themselves, um, scare me. Look at the graphics on this, it, what is that, front mission? In Persona? And our front mission, um, I don't even know what the robots are, they look hand-drawn, they're hand-drawn person, weird, weird, that guy's from either Ogre Battle or Final Fantasy Tactics. Huh. More front mission, guys. Yeah, I'm a big front mission fan, if you can't tell. And, well, yeah. Well, here we go. New session. Joy session prologue. Oh, okay. Trigger. Yeah, I'm getting used to my little Xbox thing, so if I make unnecessary movements like this, that's me trying to get used to using this thing. Uh, should we see a prologue or a duel? Duel. Isn't available in the demo. Seriously? Okay. Prologue. Alright. Alleyway. People versus James in an alley. Who are you people? What do you want? Relax, kid. We are... Oh, God. Acronyms. Okay, lady. What? What the? Uh, okay, now we're to 80s anime time. Hmm. Secret terrorism plans going on over that. Okay, that's a typo. Uh huh. Wait a second, stop. You have to, and the rest of it go. Blah 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 goes on. How, James? Do you get me? Yes, I do. I'm already confused. Find the terrorist who's hiding in the library. Why did they not do this already? It would have made so much more sense if they did. Right? I will. Oh god, I might swap back to my laptop controls if I can't get used to this. In my Hellion Let's Play, this is going to become hell when I have to dodge traps everywhere. Okay, so arrows mean I go here, and those things are after me. Hello! Yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah, okay. Turn switch on. Shit! And all of them. Eliminate or be eliminated. Oh, that's... No, that's auto. Okay. I like the menus. The graphic style is definitely out there. Machine gun. What? He took a thousand points of damage? Now I look at this, everybody's a bit overpowered. Um, 
Okay, it's official. Gun skills? Screw them. Fighting head-on is the way to go. Because I get like 15 shots, man. Awesome. Okay, I'm loving this. Luck was on your side. You can say that again. Press B. Shit. Eliminate or be eliminated. And suddenly the giant guards come down. Um... Okay. We need to heal, which we... Do we have any items to heal? S nope. So, let's shoot our machine gun off. I'm gonna die. Probably. Escape. Shit. Look, I can't kill him. Retreat. You gotta... Shit. That was Xbox mess up, by the way. Not my fault there. Okay. No sentence. I'm starting to be driven nuts just by the... No! No! How am I getting out of this? I will die if I fight. What am I playing? Yes! Haha! -ha. No! Come on now. No! Oh, fine. This guy. Because he looks the most suspicious out of the lot. Even though it's like I don't have any audio targets. The graphical style is very inconsistent. I'm just going to be say this outright. I'm shooting at really well detailed rips of something. And I'm a skull now. Okay. It wasn't meant to happen. There was no real... What the hell? And we are back after a game crash, which I'm just going to have an edit right there. It basically popped up with a Windows message saying, and game over, sucker, and then it's like, yeah. In other news, we're not doing that prologue. Let's enjoy a session. <laughs> okay, back to the creepy kid, and what? Okay. Here we go. I'm not really sure if we're going to try to get it, do a full let's play through this, like with Hellion. It might be just figure out what the fuck is going on, or maybe just try pressing our way through after phenomenal killers. I might need to reinstall the game. However, um, learn controls. D-pad, move, X, Z, uh, I don't got a Z on here. Really don't think they were planning on me using a gamepad. Fun again. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hot rock back and forth. Killer subconscious. What do you want to do? Learn how to fight. Fight use same controls are used as for the part of the battles. When you're aware this is a horror adventure slash RPG. No, I wasn't aware of that. I was aware this game has an insane graphical style and it's ripping off a thousand things. Wait a second, is that Riel Mayer? So now we're going Ergo Proxy as well. Some animated chick in the background, a samurai and a screaming face with a monster arm. Okay. Okay, I'm, you know what, I'm not going to do this again. Play. How you doing? The Divine, the Answer, the Dead. Sinner. Asylum of Pleasure and Pain. We get it. Actually, I have no idea. This. If this is an artistic message, I want to know. Okay, that's definitely a Persona rip with things other. Child of Con... Wait, Konbama? Like, Good Evening? In Japanese? So... Child of Good Evening. Can you believe this? They will start our war, and it'll be 
and it is all due to their casualty. They will all get smited by the hand of the same person who put us beings here. All right. Who is the old lady? Where? What we truly want. We can't get it. No, we can't give it. We can't buy it. We just don't get it. You're not supposed to see this place. Now that you're supposed to see here. Somebody has not paid for their sit yet, so I cannot let you go. What? I won't take his place. I was put to death in a life of incomprehensible torture for a crime I did not commit. Jack and Jill went up a hill. Jack and Jill discovered a thrill. They learned how to desecrate, slaughter, my aim, and kill. That's interesting, knockoff. Nothing can be compared to death other than sleeping in her hands. Uh huh? Wait, what? 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 Wait, where? Huh? Oh, that would be your brain! Fool! Awesome, Mr. T. No, wait. Huh? Stupid punk ass who likes a crack brick. Welcome to the Asylum of Pleasure and Pain. Ah, finally some store left. What would you like to do? Um... History! Caught in Tilkul, Moscow. Oh, I do think I recognize this. This looks like a very old visual novel here. That's... Wait, are we playing this song? This song... I think it's a Final Fantasy 6 um, or maybe 4. No, this is 6. Is it Miranda? Something close to it. Or it's not Rachel, but hmm. Money stopped. So my distribution rate. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. This is not how economics works, my friend. Money flow stops in Russia, right? But the fact is money is backed up by power. Okay, that song's very familiar. Hike in the poverty rate, and this poverty rate is... Okay, now that is true. Poverty does lead to a higher death rate. This is proven. But, you just don't get the world's economy a crash because Russia's economy crashed. For example, the collapse of the Soviet Union proved that this was not the case. It just doesn't happen like that. Finally, action was taken. The elite national security department... Oh god, they're the UN, aren't they? Yeah. My? What are you doing here? Yeah, it's a pretty crappy one. Had this pleasure reading of Torment for the Eyes. Look, uh, I, I don't know why you're here. Damn the script. So the. Shut the hell up, bitch. Hmm. I'll shoot you in the head. No, don't shoot the cute girl in the head. Back to where I was. Before she broke it up. What? All the criminally insane people are apprehended. They are all considered the scum of society. Now that's rather generic. Punished by death, losses, and then riots and protests, families, friends, criminals, execution. And due to the request, the Ian S. You see, I'm starting to run into a problem here, guys. There is a storyline going on here, I feel. I just have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Okay, okay, here's the storyline. Economic collapse, the world goes to hell because Russia ran it. That's not how it works anyways, because with the collapse of the Soviet Union, our markets didn't collapse. They actually went into one of the biggest booms, but still. This is... What? Okay. Giant asylum in the middle of the forest of Russia. So basically, we're at this asylum. If you're wondering, the music is really low to me because when I record, if I leave the music all the way up, you cannot hear my voice at all. Even though I should do this through Audacity, I am very lazy and bored. Moving on. Carelessness of people who looked up the criminals who made an escape from their cells and took over the asylum. Because the ENSD nor the police wanted to take part in stopping the anarchy going on in the... Why wouldn't they? Claimed it as their victories. I renamed it the Asylum of Pleasure and Pain. That was its chosen name because the, all that happens there is gaining pleasure and during extreme pain. 
But that's not all. Due to what else happened, monsters, aliens, and foreign entities came and resided in the asylum. Down will nobody will ever expect a sudden attack. Some of these were friendly enough to coexist with people. Where the hell are the aliens coming from now? Immortality or no immortality. Okay. Turning fiction into reality, the power control chaos, and much more. But one day, a birth occurred in the asylum. It was a blessing. The anarchy stopped. The baby was a girl, so her mother named him Lara Eoxor. Loved and praised the child. The foreign entities felt pity. They had a request. Okay. Um. Pain and blows such as gunshots. Power to create pulses. Okay, here's the thing. Last time I tried this out, I didn't get stuck into the storyline. I was suddenly somewhere else, so I have no idea what just happened. Peace reigns. Um, uh, here's what we're going to do, basically. In this let's play, we're going to just try out different options, okay? Being a sick child. The thought of pulling the whole world into her imaginary world, but she did not succeed. Mother and well, protect her. Well, for the rest, she made two entities. The woman and man to kill everyone who currently resides in there. Place the people with imaginary people cover up or what she did. End of history session. Thank you. Um, we're going to exit for now. Yeah. Uh, that was a storyline. On... I will not deny it. Um, so basically the storyline is that we are following the fictional imagination of a little girl after the economic collapse of Russia and people went criminally insane, committing suicide and murdering other people, and thus the UN created the ENSD to handle everything. Okay, storyline's actually not too bad once you look over the glaring flaws, which are huge. What the fuck did I just play? Well, uh, we'll do another part, I guess, in a bit. I'm gonna have to edit these last two videos to make one because of the damn crappiness of what just